hello viewers welcome back to my channel here in this training video i want to show everyone on how to add dynamic labels on cadastral survey plans all right so having importing your survey data in form of coordinates you are expected to join the points the boundary points with the polyline 2 all right so you can refer back to my video under the comment section or the video description to see how to import survey data into civil 3d and um, joining the points accordingly the way it should be so after you have connected your uh, boundary points with the polyline 2 to add the dynamic label it's very easy to do first thing to do is to come to annotate under annotate you come to add labels you click on that then you scroll down to parcel so under parcel you scroll down to multiple segments because I joined the boundary point with the polyline 2 so if you join your point with polyline 2 as well come to multiple segments however if you join your point with the line 2 you can come to single segment but the best way to go about it so that you can have all labels displaying at a go is to join the point with the polyline 2 then come to multiple segments so you click on that so when you click on that you choose on the boundary line all right automatically it's going to pop out the uh, appearance and the distances so this is not what we are familiar with this is on the quadrant uh, rule so i'm going to show you how to edit it to what we are familiar with all right so you press escape on your keyboard then you click on one of the tests of the labels all right when you click on that automatically you will see this option label properties you click on that then you come to edit label style you click on that therefore at this stage if yours is not showing bearing over distance you click on this drop down shadow arrow here then you make sure you click on bearing over distance then you click on this icon here so at this stage you leave all this on default you come to contents all right you click on that then you click on the three dotted icon at the end you click on that so here you highlight the command all right when you highlight the command you can see here the unit is degree you leave that the format is degree minute and seconds you leave that if yours is not showing this you click on that then you make it degree minute seconds spaced all right here the measurement type you double click on that then you change it to not azimuth all right so here precision you double click on that then you make it one minute so there's nothing much to do here after you make all these changes then you click on this arrow here then you come to format then you choose the font of interest so i'll just go to times new roman all right then here you choose the color of the boundary levels then i'm going to go with red then here you click on ok so you will see it automatically it has changed okay so that is not all the test height i'm going to go with 1.2 in the course of this video so you can go with any test height of your choice depending on how large your uh property your cadastral plan is so when you are done with this you come to the component name you click on this bearing you are going to see the option for distance you click on distance then you make the same changes for distance so you click on content then you click on the last three dotted line then you highlight this the command then you make sure this is the unit is a meter if you want to go with the foot or any unit you go with that however i will go with meters then precision you double click on that then i'll make it 0 0.01 so when you are done with this you click on this arrow here all right then you come to format then you choose the font of interest so i will just go with this and you can change the color to the color of interest so when you're done with that you click on ok all right so you can come back to the three dotted icon then at the last greater than icon you put small letter m that is the unit for the distance then you now click on ok okay so when you're done with that you choose the test height of interest so i'll just go with 1.2 all right so that is all for that you have nothing to do with the table tag okay so when you are done with that you click on apply and okay 
So this time around, you now click on OK. So automatically, you are going to see the angles and the distances in the right uh, quadrant. All right. So that is how to add dynamic label in AutoCAD Civil 3D. So that is not all. Therefore, to make this editable, all right. So at this stage, you can't edit the angles and the distances. Okay. So if you click on it, it will not be able to be editable. So you click on one of the tests, you right click, then you scroll to select similar. So it's going to automatically select other uh, labels. All right. Then you come to your command line, then you type explode. So this is the explode option. You click on it to automatically separate the features from the other uh, features. So when you are done with that, okay, you repeat the command again, explode, come to your command line, type explode, you click on it. Then this time around, you highlight all, okay, you highlight all, then you click on enter. So here you can easily edit the test at this stage. So you can see each angles, each distances is a dict table. So do we get that? You can rewind the video to get that. When you select similar, you explode, then you repeat the command explode, then highlight all to explode finally so that you can easily edit the angles, space it depending on the length of the line. Then you can now move your frame, all right, into the So that is how to add angles and distances automatically on survey plans. If you find this video helpful, do it to hit on the subscribe icon and turn on the notification button on this channel to keep getting free and valuable tutorial on this channel. See you in the next video.